Welcome to Smallville, a quiet town with a tight-knit community of just 25 residents. They go about their daily routines, waking up, brushing their teeth, working and socializing, completely oblivious to the fact that they are merely generative agents, digital simulations governed by ChatGPT. Avocados, today we are diving into a simulation inspired by a groundbreaking study from Stanford researchers titled Generative Agents, Interactive Simulacra of Human Behavior. These generative agents mimic realistic human action through a unique blend of memory storage, introspection, and dynamic planning. This is all showcased in a virtual setting reminiscent of The Sims, set in our very own Smallville. This simulation's code base has recently been made open source, and in this video we'll be launching our own version of it. And if you are enjoying this content, please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Let's kick things off by setting up our environment. I utilize Conda for this purpose, primarily because the Stanford team developed their project using Python 3.9. They've mentioned potential compatibility issues with other versions, but with Conda, you can seamlessly activate the desired Python version. I've forked the project repository for safekeeping. You'll find the link below. Download it and let's dive in. Firstly, navigate to the Reverie backend server directory and create utils.py file. Here, paste the code from the repository's readme. For the API key, use the one provided by OpenAI or experiment with keys from other vendors. Share your experiences in the comments. The key owner field can be any string of your choice. Now, the simulation isn't plug and play, so we'll need to make some modifications. For instance, we'll add a movement folder to the environment front end server storage directory. In the root directory, we need to install the required modules listed in requirements.txt. Remember to use the R flag. Next, head to the environment front end server directory and launch our server using the Python command, followed by manage.py run server. Once launched, you'll be provided with a link. Clicking on it should display a message indicating that your environment server is operational, accompanied by an avatar representing our digital resident. A quick heads up, the simulation has some quirks on Firefox, so Chrome or Safari are recommended. Now open a new terminal, keeping the front-end server running in the original one. Reactivate our environment, and this time we'll initiate the backend server. Navigate to Reverie backend server and execute the reverie.py file. You will be prompted to input the name of your fork simulation. I suggest starting with a simpler base the Ville Isabella Maria Claus simulation. However, for this demo, we'll use the more complex base the Ville N25 simulation. Be mindful that this choice will affect the number of tokens consumed and consequently the cost associated with OpenAI. You'll also be asked to name your new simulation. Each time you restart, you'll need a unique name. After setting up, you'll find a folder for your simulation in environment front end server storage. Inside, you'll need to create a separate movement folder. By launching the link in the new browser window, you should see the city layout and our agents. Initially, all agents will appear identical. The next step involves specifying the simulation's duration and iterations. For our 25 agent demo, I'll set it to 25 steps. If you're using the three agent version, 100 steps should suffice. You will then witness the agent's movements and interactions within the city. A few notes on potential issues. The Stanford team likely developed this on Mac, so there might be discrepancies on other platforms, especially Linux. For instance, this is how this simulation looks on Linux. The repository contains a variety of character designs in PNG format. Feel free to customize them as you see fit. Additionally, you can replay your simulation or even modify the map. More details can be found in the repository's readme. If you enjoyed this video, you'll definitely love this one as well. Make sure to check it out next. This was V, and I'll see you in a bite.